Hello, this is the Silver Watchman, and welcome to a brand new series, the most Mexican game I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> uh, Bean Quest. I'm not messing with you, just listen to the music. Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I found this game and I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's going to become a series. Then I started playing it and I was like, oh no, I'm not going to like this series because <coughs> the controls. Okay, if any of you that have played any kind of video game ever will know that the water levels in the game have a tendency to be Quite a bit of a hassle. So. That sums up this entire game. The controls are like being in water. You're slipping. You're sliding around. It's like driving on sleep. Is it still fun? And do I really like the music? Yes. I really like the music. But. And before any of you get any, uh, like, really upset about what I had just said, keep in mind that I am, I am Hispanic. I have Hispanic blood, so I can say things like that without, you know, too much reprimand. <laughs> because... I don't say it in a derog, derog, der, I don't say it in a bad way. <coughs> now, let's see. I had a lesson for this. I just kind of forgot it in the midst of saying the most Mexican game in the world. Okay, so, the point of this game is you're on a quest, and it, this game would have a little more context if I was able to get the intro in, but unfortunately every time I try to get the intro into the game to play, it, um, the game would freeze, it wouldn't crash, it would just freeze, and I was just like, huh. Well then, after about uh, two or three times, I decided, yeah, no, I'm not going to continue with that. So, Here's what happens, um, let's see, you're hanging out with your, um, and the art style is also very, uh, very Mexican as well, it's awesome, it's just absolutely amazing, uh, it's, I'm sorry, like, there, there, there are certain things that I gush over, this is one of those things, because this is very cute, this is a very cute, game and it's awesome look at how well it's it's made well look at that it's just that the control scheme is very uh you can only control where you're falling in a way so it's just like kind of uh So basically what happened in the game is this, that um, a bad guy came in while you were sing, seren, se, 
singing to uh, your girlfriend. And he turns you into a bean. And then you have to go on this whole big quest to to save her and all of the pets that he has stolen from you. Because not only does he turn you into a being, he steals your significant other and then he takes all your pets. So he doesn't even leave you with uh, much of anything because it looks like you're living on the outside. But just like how this little guy is on a quest. Do you know who else went on a quest? <laughs> For the sake of all humanity. That's right. God. God was on a quest. On a quest. To save all of your souls. Why would he do such a thing? Because he loves you. And he will often send men of him, like me, and sons of him, to continue on the quest. He walked among us for about um, 33 years. If my math is correct, and my understanding of the word is correct enough, <coughs> 33 years. And he started, after a while, he started and he started preaching, he started uh, speaking in parables to people. And then he helped uh, um, a lot of people. They're forming miracles and not all of them were listed in the Bible. Why? To be honest, I don't know. I don't know why he didn't include him. But he walked and then he ended up the gathering of over I believe 5,000 people. They were just like, yeah. And it was because he had done the most, one of the most well-known miracles that God has ever done. And it is turning two small fish and a couple small loaves of bread, small loaves or crumbs, Into enough food to feed over 5,000 people. Including their families. Which is pretty cool if you think about it. And they're like, he is the one. He is the one. He is God. And then God is like, no, not like this. Not like this. That was pretty much how God was, which is also really cool. Because he was like, 
they're they're loving me by force. That was his mindset because in a way they kind of were because they were acknowledging that he was God because he had done something instead of acknowledging him through faith. And so like he departed from them or like and then after a while like they just kind of went their way except for 12 and these guys became the 12 apostles. The Twelve Apostles. I really wish I knew their names better. And I feel bad that I don't. But names have always been a weak point for me. And... And then God's just basically like... Aren't you guys gonna go too? Yeah, but he already knew that they wouldn't. And they were just like... Where, do we, where are we gonna go? You're God. You're the Christ. The Messiah that we've been waiting for all this time. And that God's like, All right, then, let's go. And then, then they kind of like went on and they started, they did all these cool things. And then, these 12 apostles, they saw how God works, they saw Him working in front of them. Well, to be honest. We also see God working too. Just. We have to have faith that he's working. And what we just saw is an act of God. And so he went on looking for the only... I ran out of time. Huh. I ran out of time. Thank you all for watching. Um, thank you for sitting down, listening, you know, to me talk about God. Glory be to God in the highest. This is an honor that I get to do this. And I do apologize for running out of time. But. I'm still happy you sat down and you listened. Thank you all. This is a great honor that I get to do this. Thank you. Blessings be upon all of you. Glory be to God. And this is a silver watch man. Signing out.